Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you all are doing well and keeping safe. This video is about curating a list of all the items that are very important, I feel, while you're packing and coming to USA, spe specifically as a student. So this is what I really considered while packing uh, before coming in. So I just want, I thought it'll be good to share with you guys and see if it's helpful for you. So let's get started. So before flying, I think every flight offers, if you're flying international, you'll get you, you have a maximum of three bags to carry of, of about 24 to 25 kgs each and you have a carry-on. So be very mindful of what you put in those bags because honestly, those bags fill in really, really quickly. And then you come to a point then it's so difficult for you to just remove items because you just want everything to bring in here. So firstly, please get rid of a mindset that you have to carry everything here and nothing is available. Please, it's a myth, I'm not gonna break it. Everything is available in US. Of course, it is a little bit expensive, but then you'll get used to it after a month or two. But don't come with a mindset, you just need to stuff your bags in and you don't keep in mind the immigration stuff and everything. So let's get started with the most important thing that you need to keep, which is documents. So all, just keep up all the previous degrees, mark sheets, transcripts, keep all your relevant certificates that you have, service fees receipt, keep two or three copies of it, i20 copies as as soon as you get your i20 make sure you sign it on the bottom and make two or three copies of it and keep it safe gre and toefl scores keep a copy of them as well with you visa and passport copies of course you'll keep and you'll of course keep the originals university admit letters and immunization form so immunization form is something that your university will tell you all the procedure for it so make sure you have them and you make a copy of all these documents get a good strong folder keep all these things in it and put it in your carry-on bag don't put it in your uh, you know in your check-in bags because just in case if your check-in bag gets lost you lose all your documents so just make sure you carry you have those documents with you all the time while you're traveling the second thing is all the digital stuff that you have other devices so if you already have a laptop with you that you're bringing from india well and good keep it in your carry-on bag uh, and then you can carry all your Kindle, iPads, tablets, whatever you have. And then a scientific calculator is something that I would recommend you to buy. It's expensive here. So if you already have it in India, just get it. Uh, also, apart from that, you can keep your digital cameras that you have. So it's always good to capture memories if you have one, right? Uh, I mean, if you have a camera. Uh, next comes the basic clothing. I'm not going to list out everything. In the basic clothing, you all know it. Be mindful when packing. Don't pack a lot. And there are some things to be very mindful of while drinking one of them is make sure you have a good variety of all the clothes for winter season as well as summer season and then it depends on which state you're going to so just be mindful of how the weather is in that particular state and pack accordingly uh, for all the northeast regions uh, it's it's really cold from half of the year at least so it's about six to seven months where you have extreme cold so you want to be mindful of carrying more winter stuff like sweaters or whatever you wear Apart from that, a winter jacket is really, really important. I am not sure where you're coming from, so if you feel that your jacket would sustain even the minus temperature, then good, get it, just to start with. But it's always recommended to buy one from here. Then you should get a beanie or cap, whatever you wear. It's always good to carry your cap because it's really windy and you're, you'd get really cold without a cap. A good pair of formal wear is important for interviews and for various events you might need it. Uh, don't forget to carry your traditional wear because for festivities you would always uh, like to wear them also do keep make sure that you carry a lightweight jacket which is like a raincoat so that uh, that can sustain some strong winds most of the places are really windy at least i can speak for the northeast regions so always having a raincoat and a windproof jacket just just does wonders you will you will really understand once you're here uh, do keep sports shoes, sneakers and flip-flops with you. Uh, also, if you feel you want to buy it from here, sports shoe, varieties, uh, vari sports shoes variety is really good here and they're not very expensive as you, if you compare it with India. So don't take a lot of burden on it, on yourself, and you can buy it from here as well if you don't want to get it from India. Uh, the next would be get a good umbrella. All the flimsy umbrellas that are available will not really work. Uh, the winds are really, really strong and I'm going to stress upon it. So it's always better to have a sturdy umbrella. Coming on to the accessories, just keep all the basic accessories which you wear, which you, you know, what you want to carry like belts, wallets, backpacks, small bags, sunglasses, a nice pair of, nice pair of earrings or accessories for all the women out there. And then, uh, yeah, those, those are the basic accessories I would carry. So coming on to the personal care products and makeup. 
don't carry a lot of shampoos and all those liquid stuff because it can create an issue in immigration. What if you carry, just make sure you tape them really nicely so that they don't leak. Uh, apart from that, make sure you just get the smaller packs of it and don't get the bigger bottles. You'll get everything here. Just don't unnecessarily carry a lot of liquids with you. Just carry lip, like lip balm, sunscreen, all these things. Essential, definitely you can buy. You won't just come here day one and start buying all these things. So as I said, just buy smaller packs of it and don't, don't bother to carry bigger bottles. For all the women out there, makeup is definitely expensive here. If you're coming as a student, it might look very expensive. So just get all the basic stuff that you like to wear on a daily basis and get two or three uh, varieties of it or whatever so that you can survive, that can survive you six, seven months. And then you can, of course, anytime buy things from here as well. Uh, coming on to the kitchen essentials, I would suggest uh, you can get a medium sized pan. It depends on what cuisine or what kind of food you cook or eat the most and depending on that, don't carry a lot of kitchen essentials. Do carry a medium sized pan, I'd carry a small pressure cooker to begin with and a chapati roller if you make chapatis and then a flat pan because that will help you cook mostly all the things. Uh, and then a tea strainer if you like tea. I'm a big tea fanatic, so a tea, I can't do without a tea, tea strainer. Although you get all these things here, but just to begin with, you can get all of it from India too. And then plates and spoons. I would suggest if you have space, those are lightweight, you can keep it. Otherwise, you can get it from here as well. There are so many stores like Target, Shop and Stop, where you get it for cheap. So uh, please don't bother. Even plates, you can go to Dollar Tree or Dollar Store, wherever you're nearby. So all the kitchen essentials you'll get from there. So next up is medication. So I would say feel free to carry all the basic medications for headaches, nausea, dizziness, fever, cold and cough, but do carry a prescription with them just in case if there's a check that, that gets done on your bag, you should have a prescription saying that, all right, a doctor recommended it to you and you're not just carrying it without any reason. And the last thing that I would like to mention is do make sure you carry some stationary items like a small clear bag, a small paper folder or a plastic folder. As you can for interviews you need to have a folder to keep all those things in but don't carry a lot of it uh, and also i would say just carry like a couple of pens and pencils and notepads nothing else uh, i think i forgot to mention about the kitchen essentials you can carry basic stuff but please don't carry lentils rice or uh, you know any flour you get everything here in indian stores so please don't bother yourself in carrying all the indian stuff it would be a little expensive but i I'm literally telling you for one person to survive for three or four months in hundred dollars, you can get, you can buy a lot of stuff. Basically you can set up all your kitchen. So don't bother and don't fill your bag with all the kitchen essentials like dal, you know, all the lentils and rice and everything. You'll get it here. Um, and if you want to still want to bring some basic stuff, you feel free to do it, but make sure if anything you buy is sealed back and not just loosely packed in a polythene or something else. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. I thought these tips were really helpful when I was packing and I hope these are helpful for you as well. All the very best to everybody who's uh, coming in next year and anytime after that. Let me know if you have any questions, uh, drop some comments in the uh, comment box and let me know how you liked it and if you'd like to make, if you'd like me to make any other videos on any topics of your choice. Thank you so much. Bye guys. Take care.